Hello everyone. Welcome to the video lectures of Nano Electronics. This is part 2 of module 6. In this session, I will discuss about heterojunction bipolar transistors also known as HBT. Okay. Now we can discuss about a need for modification in classical bipolar junction transistors. For high speed transistors the width of base normally is represented as w suffix b it should be reduced but when you reduce the base width couple of things will happen the first problem is collector to emitter punch through so this is the uh, classical bipolar junction transistor emitter base collector the dotted line uh, represents the depletion layer at the base collector junction so uh, when you reduce the uh, width of base now uh, look at the figure the most of the depletion layer is towards the base there is a uh, base is fully covered with the depletion layer so there is a chance for collector to emitter punch through voltage so how will you reduce the depletion layer thickness we can increase the doping level at the base if you increase the doping level at the base the depletion layer thickness also goes down at the base junction at the base region so there is one problem if you increase the uh, doping concentration in base the parasitic capacitance in emitter base in the emitter base junction increases how you know that the capacitance is epsilon a divided by d uh, where d is the uh, thickness of depletion layer or the dielectric material here uh, we are dealing with the pn junction so in the pn junction there will be depletion layer so now look at the emitter base when you increase the doping level at a uh, base uh, the depletion layer thickness towards the base decreases so actually uh, the width of depletion layer decreases at the emitter base junction so the capacitance also increases capacitance increases because depletion layer thickness decreases it is c is equal to epsilon a by d when d decreases the capacitance increases so this will uh, produce more and more parasitic capacitance so it will slow down the device performance so important point so another point is uh, tunneling chances also increases also the emitter efficiency and the beta of the transistor falls down due to the fall in the efficiency fall in the emitter efficiency then the another big problem is the increase in base spreading resistance uh, commonly it is represented as rbb dash the spreading resistance is also uh, it is proportional to the sheet resistance sheet resistance is rho divided by thickness rho divided by t when you reduce the thickness that is when you reduce the width of base the sheet resistance in the base increases uh which is proportional to the spreading resistance so the spreading resistance is going to increase if you increase oh sorry if you decrease the width of base now uh, we can discuss about the need for heterojunction so the beta of the transistor is uh, proportional to e raised to delta eg divided by k into t and where delta eg that is the difference in energy band gap of the material delta eg is equal to e suffix ge minus e suffix 
gp where e suffix ge there is the energy band gap of emitter and e suffix gb that is a energy band gap of the base so difference in energy band gap of emitter and base is the delta eg so in order to increase the uh, beta of the transistor we can choose a wide band gap semiconductor as emitter and a narrow band gap semiconductor as base commonly uh, we will use aluminum gallium arsenide algas as emitter because it is a, a wide band gap semiconductor when compared with gallium arsenide gallium arsenide is a narrow band gap semiconductor so when you add aluminum in gallium arsenide it will become algas it will become a wide band gap semiconductor so when you select such a junction algas gas junction the difference in energy band gap of emitter and base will be more because you have increased the energy band of emitter with respect to the base delta eg increases so the beta of the transistor also increases now we can check the structure of heterojunction bipolar transistor uh here it is shown an npn uh, sbt here the emitter is a wide band gap aluminum gallium arsenide and to avoid the series resistance to have a better contact uh, we will deposit n plus gallium arsenide layer over the wide band gap structure that is over the emitter and the base is a narrow band gap gallium arsenide layer and its uh, thickness is around 0.15 micrometer so there is a, a heterojunction at uh, emitter base interface and here the collector terminal is made with uh, gallium arsenide layer and uh, about the terminals about the contacts uh, the ohmic contacts are made with gold germanium alloy for uh, n plus layers there is four uh, emitter and collector contacts and uh, for a p type layer there is four uh, base layer the ohmic contact is made with gold beryllium now uh, we can draw the band diagram of npn hpt so the energy band diagram of abrupt emitter base junction is shown in the figure abruptly meaning Uh, the sudden change of algas to gas that is from emitter to base the emitter is made up of algas aluminum gallium arsenide wide band a uh, semiconductor and the base is gallium arsenide so gallium arsenide is a narrow band gap semiconductor when compared with algas so generally we will use a wide band gap semiconductor as aluminum 0.3 gallium 0.7 and that's right aluminum point 3 uh, meaning uh, 30 percentage of aluminum is present and gallium uh, 70 percentage so for that aluminum gallium arsenide uh, the energy band will be around 1.7 so the abrupt uh, junction of algas gas will result something like a notch at the interface we have seen that in the fifth module uh in order to get a smooth transition at the emitter base junction uh, we can use a graded emitter base junction in the previous case in the abrupt uh, emitter base uh, junction so there will be a discontinuity delta ec due to that uh, discontinuity uh, there will be the notch so uh, in uh, graded uh, emitter base junction uh, the interface uh, will be like uh, aluminum uh, 0.3 then aluminum 0.2 then aluminum 0.1 
then to the uh, base region then to the gallia mycinae region so there will not be any uh, sudden change from algas to gas gradually it will be changing aluminum point 3 then aluminum point 2 then aluminum point 1 then to the a uh, base region so the energy band diagram of uh, graded emitter base junction is uh, also shown here look at the figure here the transition is very smooth there will be the smooth transition still uh, the emitter is a wide band gap semiconductor algas and the base is a narrow band gap semiconductor so uh, we can conclude the session the large band gap difference that is between emitter and base will result extremely large common emitter current gain and in hbt uh, we can use heavily doped uh, base that is to maintain a high emitter efficiency and uh, current gain then in order to have a uh, higher breakdown voltage at the collector base junction generally we can use a wide band gap semiconductor material as the collector so uh, in such cases such devices are generally called as uh, there is a double hetero junction bipolar transistors that is dhbt so in double hetero junction bipolar transistors there will be two hetero junctions that is between emitter base and base collector then uh, these transistors can be operated up to uh, 100 gigahertz uh the doping level of the emitter can also be lowered for reducing parasitic capacitance of emitter base junction so in the next session we can discuss about resonant tunneling diode and uh, transistors okay thank you very much for watching the video